Good day lads, so today I'm going to be showing you guys the easiest way to farm souls in Dark Souls. This works early game, late game, new game plus, it's pretty much the best yield of souls in the game. Uh, it makes grinding much easier, but it's still kind of a bit of a pain. But Basically, as you come out of the undead parish where the church is, the blacksmith, you head down this path, and there's this gate right here that's locked, usually. And in order to unlock this, you need to go buy from the blacksmith the <coughs> seal of Artorias. I think, I believe it's 20,000 souls. And that will open up this door for you, so you can go through there. And there's usually an illusory wall here, but you can break that and get this nice little blowing fire. And... What you want to do is come through here, and now essentially there's these NPCs that are hostile. As you can see, there's a mage over there. And these guys uh, yield a very high amount of souls for how much effort you have to put in. Now, I'm using heavy build, but the build doesn't matter. You can do this with dex, you know, mage, whatever just adapt this the one thing i will recommend is that for one of your rings if you uh don't need havels to just wear your set to go ahead and grab either the hornet's ring which is going to boost your critical attacks which is going to make this um make it a lot faster to kill the enemies because you'll do a lot more damage or the silver serpent ring to get more souls it's more efficient to use the Silver Serpent Ring, but I like to use the Hornet Ring just because I can kill the enemies faster. So, coming up, the first NPC is a Mage. He's pretty easy. He just shoots the roll right under him. Or use the trees. And, you know, just you just want to basically get right up on him. And if you can get behind him, you can just backstab. And he's dead. You can also pull out a sword. You know, you, know, you can just two-hand a brute, force the enemies too, but I think parrying them makes it easier. Of course, I say that when I miss every parry. Yeah, this this guy um, with the dagger can be a bit annoying because he can backstab you. That guy also can be more the enemies, but as long as you don't aggro more than about two of them, it's not bad. It's only a big deal when all of them, you know, get right up on you. So this last guy is actually the easiest to parry of all. You just... like that. You can also... backstep and swing. That works as well. But parrying is probably the most easy and efficient way. It seems really hard to do at the very beginning of the game, just because, you know, you're just not used to it. But once you learn how to parry, and I highly recommend you learn how to parry, either practicing on enemies in the Undead Berg, or later on in the game in Ann Orlando, in the Silver area. I mean, with the, the area with the Silver Knights. So as you can see, I'm actually in New Game Plus, so I get more souls than that. Uh, but the enemies are harder, but this works in New Game as well, at any level. And another trick you can use to make this even uh, more fast, but it's kind of annoying, because you have to manage your health a bit more, and you have to reapply it, is if you get a Pyro Glove, Glove, sorry, and the Power Within spell, this spell boosts your attack by 40% and boosts your stamina regeneration by 30 points a second. So this can really help uh, kill the enemies faster. I mean, obviously if you're parrying, it won't really do any... I mean, it'll do more damage, but they'll already pretty much be dead. But if you're just attacking, it actually does make a big difference in killing the enemies faster. Like you'll be able to see, it does 742. So it can help. Um, obviously, you have to worry about the health drain, which isn't too big of a deal most of the time, but it can be annoying if you don't pay attention. 
So that's pretty much it, guys. There's different spots in the game you can you can farm souls, and there's definitely spots earlier in the, earlier in the game or later in the game. But I feel like this is the best all-around spot because it's not very far into the game. You get decent yields. It's not super dangerous, and you can repeat it many, many times with a bonfire close by. So if you do end up messing up, you can just run back in and collect your souls really quickly. And you know, you're coming into this area pretty early on, right before you fight the bell gargoyles, and they can be a bit annoying. So. Having some extra levels to help you out can really help you with that fight. So that's pretty much it. Uh, I hope you enjoy your day. Um, and uh, good luck. Good luck uh, not going hollow.